Well, what we're looking at here today is an 09 Nissan Murano, and it's got the crazy computer-controlled alternator stuff on there. And so this is a just a rough drawing of the alternator. And as you're looking down at it, <clears throat> okay, it has three positions on there, an L, an S, and a C, okay? The C is the control. The S is the yellow, black, the 12-volt full-time. And the L is the bulb one, where it's 12 volts when key on. Okay, and when you get a new plug, this is the brown wire. The L one is the brown wire, and it goes to red. Okay, and the yellow black wire goes to the green. Okay, and the control wire, which is the blue with the silver uh, streak on there, goes to the black wire. Okay, so that when you're looking at the connector from the top. Okay, and this is the clip. All right. So I got some heat shrink tubing on there, but just trying to get it on there. When you plug it into the alternator, okay, that's the orientation of the wires. Black, green, red, okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> I talked to the rebuilder guy, and he's telling me that when they test these alternators out, they don't have a computer or an IPDM, they just test it out as a two wire, okay? Which is 12 volts to energize, and this is the sense wire, okay? To tell you that your light on your dash is working, all right? So they hook it up and test it without the control wire. So theoretically, you can cut that and get it to work. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that um, you, you know, you're not going to get the same gas mileage and you might mess something else up. So I'm just talking about how they test it when they do the rebuild. So I'm going to zoom in on this thing and see if we can get it. There's the plug. All right. There's that plug right there. There's the connector to the battery. And there's that plug right there, okay? I'm going to plug that in. The alternator's installed. Plug it in. Now, with the factory wire, that wire's way too short. And I fixed it, okay? And I added some length to it and put it all back together. And I did the same thing with the power wire and heat shrink tubing and everything. It's real nice. You can get to it. You can drop the alternator down without messing up this plug. This plug gets damaged when it's hanging on these wires and they pull out and you've got all kinds of problems so to avoid that i made a little longer and i'll zip tie all that stuff down in a minute but uh, i was just wanting to show everybody uh, what this looked like and how it's going all right have a good day